Okay, I've been using my maths for quite a long time. I started using my maths um, years ago, so maybe 14, 15 years ago. I think somebody mentioned it when I was at a maths conference, and I was like, ooh, that sounds fun. So I used to get my school to book a computer room once a fortnight and take a class in there, and they'd have to do my maths on the computers. So I used it way back when, um, and every school I've gone to since, I've always been very much, can we get a my maths subscription, please? <laughs> So yeah, been been a big fan for quite a long time. Two or three times in the lesson, I'd get an email from a child with a screenshot saying, I don't understand this, can you help me with this? And then I could do, make them a little video or talk them through or say, oh, you just mistyped something or you've rounded something wrong. But it was usually they'd tried something, got it wrong, knew they'd got it wrong and wanted to get it right. And that was the beauty of my maths, the fact that they know if they got it right and they can move on and if they got it wrong, they know to ask for help. because it talks children through it gives them questions as they go the lessons on there have been excellent and just the tracking of if they've done the online homework and when we're reporting to parents being able to say actually your kids got these weak areas they only managed to get 50 percent on this topic i think they really need to revisit it and you get parents asking what they can do over the summer to keep their children and we've been saying well they can keep practicing on the my maths using the booster packs that sort of thing well when we go back to school in september we're hoping to continue using my maths partially because it's a great resource and it gives the kids that ability to move on slightly if they're getting things right and they can move slightly at their own pace but to be perfectly honest with you it's going to be a financial situation because with coronavirus potential we're not going to be letting the kids share textbooks anything like that we don't have enough textbooks for every child to have an assigned textbooks which means we can't use textbooks so we're going to be getting the kids to use um, ipads during lessons rather than sitting there and going here's a page of questions from a textbook that you can do we're more likely to say well can you do the my maths activity on this you know it might be well play this game for a bit or do this but yes we're still going to be using ipads come september and needing to do that for health and safety purposes it also means that if we have any problems if we end up with um somebody getting ill and the school having to go into lockdown or some parts of the school having to go into lockdown the children will be able to slot back into virtual learning again by having that continuity